Hi guys, so today the kids are at school and Grant's at work and I'm all alone for the first time in about two months. So I thought I'd do a video. Um, today I'm going to show you around my kitchen and how I organise it. So as you walk in, there's the dining side of the kitchen and then that side is the cabinets. Um, I'll start over there. The basket in the corner I use for, that's like my little laundry basket, I throw cloths that I've used for cleaning. Um, they go into there, or if the kids take their socks off downstairs or anything, they're going to there. So when I take a load down to the cellar, I just pick through that what needs to get, get washed. Um, that little bin there is for recycling bits. When that's full, Daniel takes it down into the cellar and sorts everything. So we put all our cardboard glass tins and things in there. Table and chairs, pictures, um, cloth serviettes, we don't use paper serviettes unless we're having like a big barbecue or kids party or something. That little cabinet has my bread maker and my wand blender and cookbooks. The ring binder holds printed recipes that I want to try or things I've ripped out of magazines and if they become firm favourites they go in here. Um, the, the beige ones are kind of savouries and then all the sweet things are white so whoops that's my go-to recipe book. Um, salt, pepper, blah, blah, blah. Okay, starting over there. My spice rack is, they picture ledges from Ikea that I've cut in half and put little spice bottles on. It looks cute on the wall, but it's really not a good way to store your spices. I find that some of them, well, quite a few of them lose their flavor from being out in the light. Um, curry powder, for instance, I now store in the cupboard because it just goes flavorless. Okay, this bit there is my integrated fridge freezer. I won't show you in the freezer because it's kind of a mess. Well, it's kind of boring. On top there I keep trays and things and we store water bottles as well. And that little thing poking up that you can see is this one of the speakers for the hi-fi. So inside the fridge we have, you see it's all labelled, such a gig, butter at the top, eggs, um, condiments, salad dressing, milk, um, vegetables, root vegetables, won't open, um, salad goods, that's just a space for extras, all yogurts go in there, jam, mayonnaise, pesto, that kind of stuff, all cheese products, uh, some fruit, there's grapes in the punnet at the back, Again, jam, beans, whatever kind of tins and things. This is meat, so we've got some chops for, for dinner and some pastrami. Um, and then leftovers, juice, extra eggs, things go at the top. Oh, and the ketchup goes on the right. So that's my fridge. I like using the baskets. Well, I'll link to the post about my fridge and the baskets, so you can read about it there. Okay, moving across, I have some tissues. Um, my wall cabinets. Now, no, it's not always this organised, I have to confess, I've recently had a bit of a clear out and a clean out, um, and I had to confess that otherwise my cousin will be posting in the comments going, it wasn't that clean when I was visiting a couple of weeks ago. So, um, on the right we have Grant supplements and he's got some whey powder there. I, I do all my vitamins for the week because I'm too lazy to sort them every day. Salt, um, those are just empty I think. These used to have the little facts that I would tape into Daniel's lunchbox. I'll link to that post as well. Butter and the funnel for making powdered milk or getting peas and corn into the bottles. I'll also link to that. Um, scales. Okay. I like to use baskets because not only does it contain like with like, but you can get to stuff at the back easily. So I've got all our spreads here. Nutella, peanut butter, golden syrup, marmite. So that can just come out and I can get to what's behind it. Now these are um, home pride pasta bake jars and we always save those jars and I've labelled most of them and then my label maker broke. So gravy powder, breadcrumbs, couscous, brown and white sugar. Um, we have stock cubes in this one and also in the pasta bake jars. So chicken, uh, fish and vegetable, ham, lamb and pork and uh, beef, so all the stock keeps it contained. And then the other one contains self-raising and regular flour. So behind that, I've got vanilla rooibos tea, um, 
Horlicks sachets, chocolate milk, strawberry milk, hot chocolate, and that's caro, and then vinegar. So yeah, just by grabbing oops, one basket, I can get to what's behind there. And then we have a basket of bread flour and yeast, and then my Pamper Chef mixing bowl and lid. Above that, that basket contains things like kids paracetamol and cough mixture and whatever. There's more jars behind there. Spare flour, because I can't store them in the cellar. Um, this one contains packet goods, so, you know, pudding mixes and dream topping and soup mixes and whatever. Um, and that one has different rice in, in bottles as well. And then behind there's things like popcorn and corn flour and coconut and just odds and ends also in those jars. So there's the overview. Oh, and in the door I have, right, I've got a list of Weight Watchers, things they can eat and how many points it is. So I don't have to think, oh, what do I do for lunch? I just think, you know, I just look on my list. Right, moving to the next cupboard, we have uh, aprons and oven mitts at the top and white serving bowls. And then I have individual pie dishes and mugs and then glass jugs and some Pyrex bowls. Next to that, again, I've used the baskets because oh, I hate corner cupboards. Stuff always just gets lost in the corner. So this way you can just get the stuff out the way and access what's in the corner. In that case, my potato ricer and pamper chef grater. Oh, and this basket contains foil containers, brown lunch sacks and paper plates. Okay, next one down contains... Uh, what's that Tea and coffee and cappuccino. We don't drink tea and coffee, but um, our guests do, so we keep some for guests and for tradesmen and stuff. Um, and then we've got plastic cups and straws, and I've stuck some skewers in there so we can just whip them out so we don't have to have them rolling around the door. And beneath that, I've got my hi fi, and this normally has like sweets for the kids, and then I've just got supplements there. Okay, moving on. You can kind of see what's in there, um, you know, ramekins and jugs and whatnot, plates and bowls, plates and glass dishes, and then I keep my scissors there so they're not handy for the kids, but when the door's shut you don't see it. Oh, in the corner, right, this is an mp3 player, it plays through the hi-fi. Um, in the corner we have the compost bin, um, these are these sacks are, are compostable so I can just take the whole thing and chuck it in the compost bin. Um, four slice toaster, oven hob, hood. These are my most used kind of utensils, paper grinder, kettle, microwave, um, and splatter guards. And then the corner has, that's a fire blanket at the top and two random bowls, I don't know. I think we're keeping that for when we've sent all our stuff to New Zealand to have to live on bits and bobs. Um, you know, stuff that we're not going to take with, so we'll keep it for then and then just leave it when we go. Um, vertically stored cookie sheets and cooling racks and my pamper chef chopper, which I love. Top, Weight Watchers scales, uh, I guess a sugar bowl, glass dishes, glasses. Um, okay, that's it for wall cabinets. I have a picture of the boys, this beautiful glass giraffe my dad gave me, which means a lot to me. Um, tomatoes from the garden, ripening, candle, hand soap, dish soap, stuff drying on the sink, just keeping it real. This little green crate keeps our dishwasher tablets in and apparently Noah's bubble wand. Um, we don't use paper towels anymore, so we just display artwork and, you know, hang bananas on our paper towel holder. I just use cloths and things now. I just, I figure why spend money on something I'm just going to throw away almost immediately. Um, and some fruit.